if you think this guy is creepy and you think this guy is a fucking pedophile, then why do you want me to send him more money back when the first thing he sent me, the 250 bucks, was a fucking donation for a video that had nothing to do with him? What? You, you heard it, guys. BX Bullet unironically advocating to give more money to a uh, to an alleged pedophile. Absolutely disgusting. Make sure you guys circulate this clip far and wide, okay? Because BX Bullet is now saying that I should have given more money to a pedophile. That's what she's saying, actually. How disgusting, BX. Why do you want to financially support a pedophile? You are sick. You are disgusting. It would be the polite thing to do. All right, let's do it. I'm going to put this out here now for everyone listening. So please listen carefully. We're also going to put her on like two speed because she talks very slowly because she's not very smart. Any person who is part of the Twitch politics or YouTube community, please watch this entire video, like from start to finish. We have a responsibility to our audiences to try to keep this platform safe and our content illegal and free of intentional and malicious disinformation and also free of child groomers and criminals who want to hurt and exploit kids. You all know I don't- Agreed, yes. So why are you lying about me? If you want to keep it safe from misinformation, why the fuck are you lying about me, bitch? Stand for that shit. So if you support Hunter or you say that I'm lying after watching this entire video from start to finish, number one, you're a fool. And um, number two, I'm going to go ahead and lump you in with the groomers. Yep, I said it. Deal with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys, if you disagree with her criticism of me, that means you're a groomer. This is how fucking desperate she is. Oh my god. How do I dislike? Okay, good. Now my dislike went through. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is gonna be gold. And I apologize for deviation in our normal revamped content, although I do think this qualifies as a conspiracy. You see, like most conspiracy theories, it started out as just speculation, and then over time- uh, Okay, so at least she acknowledges it's a conspiracy? Time, it uh, turned out to be truth and factually based, as many conspiracy theories do. And because of the severity of what Hunter did, I decided that I couldn't overlook it. I mean, this is a large content creator conspiring with a child predator who has literally put my family and I through hell. And I know I said no more drama content, um, Wait, but I when did I conspire with him? What are you- talking about this is five months old are you just making stuff up for relevance this isn't drama to me because it involves my child um yeah but um not to worry because on tuesday we do have a brand new episode of true conspiracies coming out so be on the lookout for that one now if you guys haven't learned yet about this insane situation with matt brockett who is a child groomer uh, who's also a twitch streamer all of the juicy details along with associated evidence including his own live admission of guilt that's all detailed in the two videos linked below and i really just suggest that you watch it but the bottom line is that this guy matt brockett he targeted me and my family after i exposed him for scamming uh, grooming and exploiting children and uh doing other horrible things by using twitch to promote a fake esports organization and i'll stop sort of referring to him as the p word in the youtube videos because youtube doesn't like that word um but i do know that he has sent sexually explicit uh, messages including porn to children as young as 11 in a discord server as well as the incident in which he attempted to sexually exploit my own three-year-old daughter and then blackmail me with that um he's also stalked harassed and threatened to be constantly over the past two years and to this day he's not been charged with so keep in mind that she always builds this up to be like look how bad this guy is and then she always leaves the fact out that I, my world doesn't revolve around her even though it seems her world revolves around me and i was unaware of all of this i was contacted by some random who was like hey i got fucked over by bx bullet would you want to talk about it sometime so i'm like uh, okay maybe yeah like i didn't know any of this anything or even banned from twitch unfortunately so to give you the tldr about the situation involving my daughter um one day while I was streaming on twitch she had barely turned three and she was we already know she ran in with barely any clothes and then the guy tried to take a screenshot and then tried to fucking blackmail you with it blah 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 we know pity party boohoo for you what the guy did was fucking gross that's why i kicked him to the curb and said i want nothing to do with him refunded him and blocked him so i don't know what this what relevance this has to do with me conspiring with a child predator to launch a defamation scandal. This is fucking delusion. So that I could use it in future evidence. 600,000 subscriber channel doing a video about me. And the first thing that comes to my mind is Hunter Avalon because he's around that size and he really hates me for some reason. So imagine my surprise in a couple of days. I really hate her for some reason. Huh. See, she's just an innocent little victim here, guys. Uh, BX Bullet is the textbook definition of a cry bully. Where she will whine nonstop and then play victim when she gets called out for her bullshit. And I think it's partially because she probably had like an easy walk through life where guys were really like submissive to her because they're like, oh, she's moderately attractive. So therefore, I will listen to you. But I think that she just her brain like explodes when somebody just tells her that she's a dumb shit. When somebody says like you are a subhuman scumfuck degenerate, essentially, who spreads lies now about me, then uh, yeah, like I don't care what you look like. I don't care. There's a good reason as to why I hate you, BX Bullet. 
Like, what are you talking about, dude? Notice how I would say, yeah, she hates me because she believes wrong information about what happened with me and this uh, creepy guy on Twitter. She, uh, you know, she she hates me because I challenged her in a debate on vaccines. She hates me because I've made a couple jokes and jabs at her. Notice how I'm able to admit why she hates me. And I can explain that to you and I'm fine with it. But for her, she has to be, he hates me for some reason. Oh, oh. I'm just an innocent bystander. Fuck you. After my harasser Matt mentioned the video coming out, Hunter Avalo puts out a hit piece about me. And the topic of this video is him being angry that I called him a P-word sympathizer. How ironic, considering what comes next. So I immediately suspect that Hunter is conspiring with this child groomer who had, and I'm not even exaggerating, upended my life and terrorized and traumatized my family. So she's basically giving you all the details as if I should have just known that this guy was a creep, when in reality, he was some dude who just messaged me and then asked to come on the channel. And I was like, uh, maybe. And then I guess he said he was going to go on the channel and then... She's like, that clearly means he was talking about Hunter Avalon, blah, 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 blah. What? Don't, you could just like look at the DMs I posted, right? Do we have to do it? You know what? We, we obviously have to do it again. Let me go to my BX backtrack folder. Here's where he asked for my Venmo. So I sent it to him. I said, I made a video about her, but it's not about your shit. It's not about anything to do with how she was, had screwed him over. Because at the time, that was all I knew. He said, that's fine. I sent a tip. So the... There's nothing going on here other than a random person messaging me on Twitter to send me a tip because they also don't like BX Bullet. There's no conspiracy here. Also, not to mention, it's not surprising that other people would hate BX Bullet. She's very hateable. Like, this isn't shocking. <laughs> family for two years and it's not just me either he's got tons of other victims they can corroborate in the comments below i mean the number of people who can corroborate holy shit she's so all of them to everything that i'm saying is true um so if you don't like to believe you how bad it was okay uh, so everything I'm, I'm saying is true uh, oh okay yes that makes everything so much more believable okay yes known serial liar crybaby bitch bx bullet she said that she's telling the truth guys so it's true to do is lay out the timeline I constructed from start to finish. Like here's the entire story verified with timestamps and indisputable evidence of everything that happened and the order it happened in and all the lies that Hunter tried to tell to deny any involvement in this. And I don't blame him for wanting to hide this because- Wait, I didn't deny any involvement in this. I said that he contacted me and then after the fact that I found out that he was creepy and had the thing going on with your daughter, I blocked him and didn't have anything else to do with him. I don't under- like, how am I being painted as the bad guy here for not doing something with someone else because of the creepy behavior on their part? How am I the bad guy here? Like, what did I do wrong? Should I have, should I have, should I have worked with him? Should I have had him on the channel? Like, I don't understand. As soon as I found out about the creepy shit, I told him I didn't want to work with him. That's why I have this right here. What's with the clip of you saying you did leak the picture of her kid? I think people are handling it wrong, but I can't help you when it comes to the clips of you admitting you leaked the photo. I sent you a refund. Thanks for your time. Or that you had the photo to begin with. Okay, no worries. Like, what, what did I do wrong here? I, un I don't understand. How did I, where, where's the, where's the mess up on my part? <laughs> um, it's fucked up. Like, this should have ruined Hunter's reputation forever. He should unironically quit. And I say this because it's a thing he likes to tell me whenever he calls me a dumb fuck and trolls me online. Um, no, Hunter, I won't quit. I live to expose horrible, immoral child groomers and their enablers. Why, <laughs> why is she so mad? We haven't talked to each other or fought or gotten in Twitter beef for months now. She just randomly, like, back up here, just like, Hunter should quit Twitch. It's also really, really cute that she's trying to uh, use my insults that I levy towards her against me. Like, oh no, BX Bullet said I should quit Twitch. Now what? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You're a dumb bimbo who doesn't know what you're talking about and you're desperate to paint yourself as the victim. You should quit Twitch. Online. Because people deserve to know who they are. Okay, let's start with what Hunter said about two days ago on the Hippie Dippie Roundtable when he was debating Rob Noor on, ironically, child grooming in schools. Rob, when you were eight years old, did you know you were straight? No, I didn't think I was So wait, school. how am I a child groomer? Holy shit. Keep in mind again that she's heavily implying illegal activity, which sets her up for, uh, uh, makes her fit the defi uh, definition of defamation and slander. Just let that be known. We'll go over this in a bit, but... Uh, I was not, not sexually, but when you were eight years old, like, did you find like, any kind of attraction We've to all seen this. play lefty games that try to differentiate through sex? I, I will take the label that you did the affiliate of her daughter. I'm not surprised that you would take this I had nothing to do with that. Holy shit. Wait, wait, you were helping the guy that was sent. What is this baseless accusation? Holy shit, you were on the X-Men. Little Slender. Dude, I think that it's very obvious to Rob Moore that he's apparently very. That drama that was now like, what, ten, five, ten months old now at this point was somebody reached out to me and wanted to come onto the stream. I didn't know the full details, and upon finding out the full details, I refunded them the money and told them to get the fuck out of here and block them from all my platforms. So, one, nice try lying, Rob, once again, in red dipshit. So, I don't know why you keep calling me a groomer based on something that was completely false. Why is this rumor? 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 Why is this
I was not pictures of Peter. Wait, why are you lying right now? I wasn't going to do that, bro. What are you talking about? I gave the refund back. <laughs> I refunded him. Oh, okay. Now here's what she's going to do. She's going to say, but he got a tip from the guy and he didn't refund that. So now she's just admitting she wants the money to go back to the pedophile. Let's see. Thanks for admitting it. You're an dipshit. Fucking idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, please. Can we, can we just? God, I'm just wrap wow. it up. Wow. Turn into the Dylan Burns is like the most patient moderator ever. Hunter starts hurling insults at Rob first by calling him inbred and being bad faith as usual. And Rob. Oh no, guys. I I called him inbred. <gasps> that totally warrants an accusation that meets the legal uh, definition of defamation. Yeah. Next time somebody says that I'm dumb, I'll just I'll I'll accuse them of molesting a kid. You realize these things aren't the same, right? Like, BX, you whine and cry constantly because of all the mean hate you get online. Ooh, hoo, 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 wah, wah. And now you're accusing me of being bad faith for getting hostile after somebody just accused me of trying to get child porn. Like, are you insane right now? Let's go over this really quickly and I will show. I know I already showed this, but this is all going into one segment. All right. So here's the... Which given initial what you clip for a groomer dipshit, which given what you did with BX bullet and, you know, attempting to, to have child pedophilia of her daughter. I'm not surprised Wait, that you would take this. I had nothing to do with attempting to get child porn of her daughter. That is what he said. That was the initial claim. That is a defamatory claim as demonstrated, according to this website right here, a lawyer website proving libel or slander. Okay. To prevail in a defamation lawsuit, a plaintiff must prove that the defendant made a false and defamatory statement about the plaintiff that was communicated to a th third party. That is what Rob Nor just did. The plaintiff must determine whether or not the objectionable statement is true. So we can obviously show that it was not true because as soon as I found out that he was involved in that creepy kind of behavior, I told him to get the fuck out. Not to mention, like, he was going to come on my channel to be interrogated by me. Like people are, are pushing this narrative that I was like, yeah, let me let the guy come on my channel and then I'll just, I'll, I'll just, you know, go, I'll go upstairs and smoke some pot and you can just take over the stream for an hour. Like he was coming on basically to get interrogated. So not only was I taking his money, I was going to interrogate him in return. So like, I, I don't understand how any of this is really bad necessarily, but still, no matter how damaging and sensitive, rude or inappropriate a statement may be, the plaintiff will lose if the statement is true. It was not. I never attempted to get child porn, which is the, what the initial claim was. Additional hurdles to overcome. Along with establishing all the regular elements of the tort, a plaintiff who is a public figure must also show that the defendant knew the false statement was false or at least acted with reckless disregard to its truth. Which is what Rob Nord did by, again, lying that I tried to get child porn. I'm going to keep saying that because... Everything else he says after the fact was him backpedaling and trying to save his ass after he made a textbook defamatory statement about me. The plaintiff often has to prove economic harm. However, some types of statements are so damaging that the plaintiff does not have to prove any economic loss. These statements tend to include those that accuse the plaintiff of sexual impropriety or criminal conduct, aka accusing me of trying to get child porn. So congratulations. BX Bullet, Rob Nor, yes, you're inbred dipshits. But guess what? Me calling you people inbred dipshits doesn't warrant defamatory claims made in retaliation towards me. This is disgusting in every conceivable way. Now that we have that out of the way, it was textbook slanderous what Rob Nor said about me. Textbook defamatory. If I wanted to sue him, I actually probably could by bringing up the situation with my daughter, which he does get factually wrong. He even admitted that and corrected himself after the fact. And Hunter, instead of just dismissing it and moving on back oh, to wait. the debate. Oh, wait. Oh, interesting. By bringing up the situation with my daughter, which he does get factually wrong. He even admitted that and corrected himself after the fact. Oh, so you're acknowledging that he got it factually wrong. Hmm. Very interesting. Instead of me getting upset about that, I should have just moved on. That's what you're saying? Are you, are you serious right now? The accusation was defamatory. He accused me of trying to get child porn. You fucking dipshit. And Hunter, instead of just dismissing it and moving on back to the debate topic, decides to try to defend himself with this bold-faced lie right here. Somebody reached out to me and wanted to come onto the stream. I didn't know the full details, and upon finding out the full details, I refunded them the money and told them to get the fuck out of here and then blocked them from all my platforms. But that's not what happened, is it, Hunter? And now Hunter has the audacity. Wait, let's see. What, 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 what happened? Please tell me. They reached out to me, as is demonstrated in the DMs. They asked to give me a tip. I sent them my Venmo, and they did. Then they asked... To come onto the channel. Here's where I say, hey, you know, we're going to go over the document. 
I'm gonna let you explain your side, but I'm gonna press you on some shit. I'm gonna be fair, but I'm not gonna, I can smell bullshit, right? Because that's what I said here. All I mean is I'm gonna want clarity, but I can smell bullshit. So this was me investigating. By asking him questions here, I was literally digging into this to see who this type of person was and if he was actually somebody who should come on the channel or not. And then upon finding out that he was a creep, I said right here, people are handling it wrong, but I can't help you. It's gross, dude. And then I was done. And here's me uh, giving him the refund. So, again, how the fuck... Did I do anything wrong? What I said in that was completely factually accurate. She's going to hang on that I got a tip because somebody sent me a tip or that guy sent me a tip before I even had any idea who he was. He was just a random viewer who was like, hey, I want to send you a tip. And I was like, oh, OK, cool. Sorry, BX. If somebody donates to my super chat and then I later find out they're a bad person, I don't have to refund them the donation. If I found out that Adolf Hitler watched my YouTube video and in doing so he gave me AdSense, I don't need to refund the AdSense. Why are you so dumb? To tell Rob Moore that he's going to sue him for defamation. Um, really? Is that what I said? <laughs> she can't even read. She literally cannot read. She has a brain the size of a fucking pea. I said, I hope you know the claims you made about me last night were only false. They meet the legal def definition of defamation. I never said I was going to sue him. I, li I didn't even say that. <laughs> okay. She can't even read, guys. But uh, yeah, I'm getting exposed. BX Bullet exposed for not knowing how to get through kindergarten. Not something that he can really do, given the fact they were on a debate panel hurling mutual insults at each other. But okay, bro. So this happened back in January. Really? Wow. So smart. Yeah, that's nothing I can do, guys, because we were hurling insults at each other. Again, next time BX Bullet accuses me of being a grifter or something like that, then I'll just accuse her of molestation. Let's see how that flies. You insulted me first, right? It's almost as if there's a difference between insults like inbred, dipshit, and whatnot, and, cu and accusing somebody of illegal behavior, especially sexual impropriety. I, I, every time I have to subject myself to this dipshittery, I am so surprised at how stupid she is. January and um, after we had exposed Hunter for this, he had a mental breakdown and uh, quit streaming indefinitely Holy and left shit. the internet for about two weeks or so. And then he. Holy shit. I cannot believe that she is actually forming this narrative. This is so dishonest. BX Bullet is now lying again, trying to say that because I got exposed, I took a break. You realize I've been public why I took a break, right? Like, it, okay, first and foremost, when did I make the post? We'll just show this via dates, okay? It was, okay, I know it was in the beginning of February, two months ago. So yeah, the beginning of February. That was right here. Talked about her on January 24th, 2022. Okay. I made, let's see, this video and then this video before taking a break. And I was clear as to why I was taking a break. I was having, I was dealing with severe depression because I was going through withdrawal of marijuana addiction, which sucks, by the way. You shouldn't do that, okay? And I was going through withdrawal because my doctor switched my medication and gave me bad advice and told me to quit cold turkey, taking my Zoloft and just start a new one. So I was going through two different withdrawals. And so I needed to take a step back from social media. Again, I announced this weeks after posting this video. This was January 27th. God, I wish I knew the exact date. This should give me an exact date. Let's see. So February 3rd. So that was, let me look at the dates here. And then an entire week and a half later, after doing various other streams and doing various other videos, I then took a break because of my depression. And she's trying to say that I took a break because she exposed me apparently. I don't understand this. H how did she expose me again? Because we went through her video the first time, remember? And she was lying constantly about everything. But okay. If you want to take credit for the fact that I had depression, <laughs> then go for it, you know? If that helps you sleep at night, BX, go for it. He came back and was just hoping that everybody had forgotten. Oh, but I did not forget. And I will not let him continue to defame me. Yes, I was hoping that everybody would forget. Yep, that's why I posted the video on my channel responding to all of your lies. Yep, 
That was my goal. I thought if I posted enough videos about it, somehow people would forget. Uh, okay? Two weeks or so, and then he came back and was just hoping that everybody had forgotten. Oh, but I did not forget. And I will not let him continue to defame me by lying to thousands of people about this. It's time for- Wait, how am I defaming you? I, I was talking about my engagement with the situation, and everything I've said thus far was true and is demonstrable via screenshots. Also, it's hilarious that she's accusing me of defaming her when she's the one literally propping up an actual defamation, a uh, defamatory statement made against me. For him to face the music once and for all. So quick mention, I'm going to show you some DMs and the way I found these DMs because Hunter never revealed them. He had screen shared his Twitter account when he was trying to defend himself against the allegations. And in doing so, he had inadvertently scrolled through his messages really quickly. Um, so I had actually just taken that clip. She's still doing it. She... I showed the DMs and then she paused my video to look at the DMs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Private investigator, by the way, guys. She she knows how to pause a YouTube video and take a screenshot. <gasps> put it in my video editor and slowed it on down so that I could catch it frame by frame and wow. put together a full DM history that he had had with Matt Brockett, the Ooh. known child predator. You Let's... know, all the DMs that Hunter didn't want you to see because they proved his guilt. Be yeah, I didn't want you to see them, yet I scrolled through them on screen. On stream. Yep. She, she's, she's on to me, guys. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to have to take another mental health break. <laughs> so their stories. So the solar deal begins on January 12th of 2022. Uh, Matt is really angry. He's going by the username Rain Plasma at this time. Don't he, care. He hates me and lacks integrity. Don't care. It on me. And Matt says, do you make videos? Do you make videos on these people? And then I said, LMAO, how much do you want to pay me to expose her? What? I'd never been offered money to like expose somebody before. So I thought that was kind of funny. Videos on people, how much to make one on her. I have so much shit on her, claims to be a private investigator. Blah, blah, true, blah. By the way. I don't know why people keep claiming that that's the offer. Now right here, Hunter's thumbnail is Wait, what did I say? I said, how much do you want to pay me? I was curious. Yeah. You know, if somebody asks to like pay you for something on like a promotional thing on your channel, usually it's a, it's actually like just like common business standard to be like, oh, okay, well, what is exactly, what is it exactly that you're interested in? And how much do you want to pay me? You like, that's actually like a very common thing that, that happened. That happens, right? I'll do whatever it takes. And I said, I've never been paid to expose someone before, LOL, but I'm listening. I, again, what did I say that was bad here? Somebody wanted to pay me for a video, and I said I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> Where's the private investigator expose? Oh, no. She makes fake police reports, blah, blah, blah. And then, wait, are you going to show the next DM? <gasps> oh, BX. You're not going to do that, are you? Okay. How much do you want to pay? I'll keep it confidential. But I need to see evidence before accepting. Notice how I'm like, oh, okay, well, this guy is saying that he was screwed over by BX Bullet. My world does not revolve around BX Bullet and her tiny brain. And I had no idea about the drama with this guy. I had no idea who this person even was. Okay? And then I said I would keep it confidential, and I am also need to see evidence before I accept anything. How is any of this wrong? Can somebody help... Fill me in on how asking somebody for evidence of a claim is bad. What? Like, this is what I mean, is that there's nothing here unless she's going to say I need a fucking background check. Everybody that ever sends me a donation. All right, let's see. What else do I say, huh? I'll accept that for sure, but I don't know what I said here. But I, da, da, da. But I don't want to take advantage. If less is needed, that's fine. Oh, weird. I thought I was the grifter doing everything for a quick buck. Then how come I'm saying I don't want to take advantage? That seems like a lot of money and it's fine if you want to pay me less. <gasps> so weird, guys. That's not very griftery. I think I'm doing really bad at being a grifter. And then I said, don't send the money until I see the evidence. Like, <laughs> I'm literally like, don't send me money, dude. Like, d d if you need to send less, fine. But like, holy shit, bro. Now what's she going to say here? Okay, let, let's let's keep going. Twitch and YouTube politics community had also retweeted or commented on this. Like, basically, Matt's admission of sexually exploiting my child was all over Hunter's timeline that day. Which oh, right. So her argument to this is, because it was on Twitter, Hunter should have just somehow seen it. Right. Okay, yeah. My bad. Sorry that I'm not as terminally online as you are, brainless. Makes his later claim that he had no idea about it kind of unbelievable, especially when you consider Hunter's tendency to read all of my tweets. And so obviously he pays attention to my drama and stuff, right? So coincidentally, that day I did... Well we're blocked. I blocked you and you blocked me. How, my my tendency to read all your tweets? Okay. This is what I mean is she is so self-absorbed. It's actually disgusting. Like, listen to the way that she is talking about everything. It was on the timeline. He's always reading my tweets. As if I should have just magically known about her little stupid drama. Like, how self-absorbed are you? 
I can't believe it, man. She literally thinks the entire world revolves around her, and she has what I think is called pretty girl syndrome, where she's kind of used to getting a lot of what she wants. She's used to people just giving in to her because guys think she's cute and will do this, do that. And then the minute that somebody actually is like, no, you're a fucking dipshit, and I don't care how you look, then all of a sudden she melts down because her confidence takes a hit. Hunter, your Twitter senses should have gone off. Yes, that's right. Next time I'll, I'll set a reminder for BX Bullets tweets. <laughs> January 19th was also the day Hunter released a hit piece video about me called BX Bullet Calls Me Out, proves to be unhinged. So Matt and me- So very interesting that uh, she's showing this and saying the same day anything. This video was on a, was originally made. It, the VOD was prior to when the video was posted. Like you realize that, right? That the VOD of this video was done like a couple days before. And then I just posted the segment a couple days later. You know, I, I, well, actually, she probably doesn't know this, but hey, BX, let me help you out. I'll give you a little bit of a social media advice since clearly you're stupid and illiterate. Um, if you make a stream and then you have like certain stream segments, it's actually pretty common to then release the stream segments later on throughout the week. Did you know that? That's, that's actually what people do. So for you to say Hunter released this video the same day, do you think that someone sent me a random donation and then I sat down and made a video? Did I time travel? This was a stream segment and you can read it or see it yourself because my chat is live on screen. <laughs> I thought you responded to this a while ago. Are people still harping on this? Yes, because BX Bullet is super desperate and she dropped this video earlier. So Matt immediately retweeted this, which confirmed my suspicion in a way that the two of them were colluding. Also that day, Matt sends his- Wait, how am I colluding? That's not colluding for somebody to reshare your video. Do you think that she believes in, um, do you think that her, she believes that Donald Trump was colluding with neo-Nazis? Because sometimes he's retweeted, uh, tweets from like really sketchy, like neo-Nazi or alt-right accounts. Do you think she would accept that? Probably not. That would be pretty stupid, right? That doesn't mean there's collusion. It means that you're hateable. Someone else hates you and posted the video that I made. <laughs> How is this? <laughs> evidence of Hunter in a Google Drive link, which of course I've seen all of this evidence and it's utter nonsense. Like a lot of it just implicates him even more. The evidence that Hunter got in this Google link drive should have been enough to give him a really good idea of what was going on. So again, um, in my opinion, Hunter was- Wait, he sent me like a massive document. I'm sorry I didn't read through the entire fucking document. What Google Drive link should I have read? So wait, let me get this straight. According to BX Bullet, I need to magically know all of her drama. I need to have my Twitter tingle go off whenever she tweets. And I should have read her 50 page uh, novel before I talk to some guy about maybe coming on my channel to talk about BX Bullet and how much he doesn't like her. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Next time anybody wants to donate to me, please include your uh, your criminal background so I can check it in. So I can check it out. Okay. Why did this come back up? Is she friends with Rob Nor? Is she stalking Hunter? Probably both. She is uh, friends with Rob Nor though, because she's friends with any kind of low life subhuman scum fuck, so long as they uh, propagate her victimhood. It's very sad. I was well aware of the controversy at this point, at the very least. But he tells him that he can't use the evidence because, like I said, it was not. Wait, how are you showing this to implicate me? Are you this stupid? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I really want 500 bucks. Who, okay, who here doesn't want $500? Yeah. If I want, I really want 500 bucks, but there's nothing I can use here. Sorry, bro. I literally said there was nothing to, nothing there. How does this implicate me? I'm literally refusing to take money, even though I'm saying that I want the money. Because there's nothing there worth talking about. Me saying there's no evidence here, there's nothing I can work with, is somehow me being bad. Yep. Checkmate. I should have done it? What, what was I supposed to have done? Nonsense. Even though he really wants $500, and that's when Matt sweetens the deal to $750. Okay, so the next DMs are sent two hours later on the 19th. Matt says, what's your Venmo? You can't really read it, but um, that's what it says. He says, I can see you made the video, and Hunter says something we can't read, and then sends Matt his Venmo QR. No, you can read it just fine. Also, this is completely out of order. I'm really sorry for people like this. Like, it definitely sucks to be this uh, brain dead. It would be hard to live your life this way. Hold on. This was the message that I was, that I received first, okay? Hi, what do you have on BX Bullet? Huh? Going to expose her again Thursday live. And I said, well, she took Ivermectin because that was the only thing I knew. Do you make videos on these people? That's what we already saw. You want to pay me to expose her? What? I've never been paid to expose someone before. I have a pass with this person. I'm sure you've seen. No, I haven't. <gasps> Uh-oh. 
Here I am acknowledging that I have no idea what's going on. He even implies that I should, and I say no, I haven't, I have no idea about this. Uh-oh. Oh no. Do you have any evidence of these claims? Of course. Can I see it? It's like, where's the fake police report? I was like, uh, how much do you want to pay me? I mean, I'll keep it confidential, but I need to see the evidence before accepting this, dude. He said 500. I'll accept that for sure, but I don't want to take advantage. If less is needed, then that's fine. Either way, send me the evidence first. Don't send any payment until I see the evidence, and I'm sure I can commit to it, the exposed. Regardless, you have my confidentiality. That's going out the window now. <laughs> if it's in a Google Drive link, just send it. I said, yeah, send it to me the sooner the better. Let me see the shit. Hello? Look how much time is in between these messages, too. Okay, I really want 500 bucks, but there's nothing I can use here. Sorry, bro. She's a blatant liar. Blah, blah, blah. So who's Matt? Notice how I have no idea what's going on here? I must be really smart. Apparently, I already had a great idea because it was on the timeline. Yet, why am I asking this person for more details? Give me a rundown of what happened exactly. Who's Matt? What do you... I didn't even know this guy's name. Didn't this happen years ago? It happened several months ago, but now she's bringing it back up again because she's desperate for relevance. Where's the evidence of her calling you a pedo? If you make a video, I can promote it for a few hundred, but I don't think I can do this. There's way too much backstory. See, right here, I'm acknowledging, uh, there's not really anything I can do. Like, there's too much backstory. I don't know the full drama. I don't really want to get involved with this. This sounds fucking weird. I mean, I could use the money, but this seems to be a lot of info, and I don't know who's right and wrong. Everything looks scattered to me. Okay. I appreciate you reaching out. If there's anything else you'd like me to do, I'd be happy to take your money, LOL. But I don't think I can work with this right now. So, again, what am I saying about... What, like, where's the collusion? It's the opposite. I'm saying I can't work. You got Venmo? I see your video. I said, which video? I sent him my Venmo, of course. Because if somebody wants to give me money, I'll let them send me a Venmo. And then I said, I made a video about her, but it's not anything to do with your shit. That's fine. I don't care if it's about me. I was like, okay. And then he says, I sent a tip. Shit, dude, thanks. So you can see here, this was a random voluntary tip sent to me from somebody who, again, I had no knowledge of as proven by my previous DMs. Where I'm like, it's scattered. There's a ton of backstory. I don't know who's in the right and who's the wrong. You need to give me a rundown of this shit. Who's Matt? I didn't even know this guy was Matt when I was talking to him. I may use the shit you sent me. My wife and I are going to review it. We may make a case against BX Bullet for being too trigger happy with pedo claims. She also called me a pedo defender for saying a truthful statement about pedophiles. And then I said, I'll keep you posted. Which, by the way, this is still true. I mean, now she's accusing anybody that doesn't agree with the video as being a child groomer. Hello? How about 400 bucks? I'll go over all the screenshots on air today, but I want you to come on. I want to ask you about shit. Basically, it wouldn't be biased, but you'd be able to give your side of the story. I'm going to ask some questions about the screenshots and stuff. Some of these seem questionable. I want to ask you about it. It would be all good faith. You'd be paying me for a platform, essentially. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I'm an EST. We can do 3 p.m. It won't be live. I'm just going to record it. I was thinking about recording it since I didn't know the full story. I didn't want to, like, miss something. 4.15. I can't do that today. Don't worry. We can make it work. Either pre-record or we can wait until I'm live again. Send me the 200 now. That'll secure it happens for sure. Don't pay me anything else until after we chat either live or recorded. And this was the $200 that I then refunded him because I never had him on my platform. And that would have been completely dishonest to say, pay me since you're paying me for like a level of promotion, essentially. And then to keep the money. That would have been fucking dishonest. So I refunded him this money. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go over the whole document. I'm going to press you on some shit, but I'm going to be fair and see he's getting scared. What's fair? I'm going to ask you what the screenshots mean. I'm going to ask if you're responsible for taking a pic of her girl nude or something. This was right when I found out about this. Answer is no. Okay, do you have proof or proof that she lied? These are the type of questions I'll be asking. Basically, all I mean is I'm going to want clarity, but I can smell bullshit. Once you clear your name of the allegations, we can really focus on the absurd harassment you got. So again, I'm talking about him needing to clear his name for the allegations. I'm not going to try to bait and trap you, but I'm going to go over her document. I'm going to be asking for clarity, especially when it comes to the pedo allegations, partially so we will both be justified in shitting on her for harassment. Of course, because I can't attack her for harassing somebody if she has such, uh, or if this guy's like an actual creepy fucking pedo. Blah, blah, blah. And then look, January 22nd, I saw the actual clip because I was behind on the drama, as is demonstrated in the DM combos. What's with the clip of you saying you did leak the picture of her kid? I think people are handling it wrong, but I can't help you, bro. 
I sent you a refund. Thanks for your time. And then I blocked him. This is what people are freaking out about, guys. This is, this is what people are freaking out about. Somebody reaching out to me, sending me a voluntary donation. Then upon me finding out the full story, me refunding the additional money they sent me because they were planning on coming on the channel. And then I said, no, this is fucking creepy, bro. I'm done with this. Here's your refund. Get out of here. And then I blocked him. This is what the big drama is. This is what happened. And this is what led Rob Knorr to say that I was trying to get child porn. I just showed you the entirety of the DM conversation. There is nothing here. Okay, let's let's keep watching her uh, her dipshit video. Now that we saw all the fucking screenshots, we don't need to hear her little twisting of everything. <laughs> Why do you keep treating me like I'm some creep for responding to the shit you say publicly, then repeatedly tweeting about me and instigating fights? This is cheap guilt by association nonsense. It's obvious why you won't debate. Your arguments suck. Delete your accounts. Based Hunter. <laughs> And he responds by quote tweeting and claiming guilt by association nonsense and tells me again for the millionth time to delete my accounts. Hunter, you should know. Here's the a million and one one th time. Delete your account. Words mean things. In this tweet, here's your first lie. You've implicitly stated that your relationship with Matt is nonsense. But what you didn't know is that I was already onto you. And if there's one thing I'm pretty good at from my professional PI experience, it's getting people to slip up. So the next day, January Wait, where did I admit? Where did I say I had nothing to do with him? I literally, I see, this is what I mean. She's, she's just making up things that I said so that she can get a dunk on me. And the PI, she's a private investigator, guys. All right. On top of her snake charming business and her modeling career, she's also a private investigator, a gun pro, a car mechanic. What else is she? Oh, yeah. Medical scientist. She's with the FDA. Whoa. Okay. So wait, where did I slip up, BX? And he responds by quote tweeting and claiming guilt by association nonsense and tells me again for the millionth time to delete my accounts. Hunter, you should know. Words mean things. In this tweet, here's your first lie. Yes, you words mean things. Too bad that somebody's accusing me of trying to get child porn and that's not what happened and I just showed it with screenshots. You lying cunt. He stated that your relationship with Matt is nonsense. But what you didn't know is that I was already onto you. And if there's one thing I'm pretty good at from my professional PI experience, it's getting people to slip up. So Ooh. the next day, January 21st, Hunter continues to quote tweet me and Matt as Ray Plasma continues to retweet Hunter. The exact time on this tweet is 9.56 a.m. By the way, if you want to check this, there's... Wait. This, you know, this is guilt by association to say that somebody retweeted me. How, what, why do I care if somebody retweeted me? <laughs> yes, that means I'm guilty. Hey guys, let's, uh, Hunter Avalon fan account on Twitter, retweet every BX bullet tweet. That way we can prove to her that now look, you're teaming up with Hunter Avalon. You said you didn't like him. Grifter much? <gasps> There's a tool online you can do so, just FYI. And then about two hours later, obviously angry over me calling him out on Twitter, Hunter slides back into the child groomer's DMs and asks for $400 in exchange for his platform, a stream which he claims will be in good faith and a chance to have his voice heard. And then after that- Yes, because I didn't know the full story. Are you going to mention the part where I then show that upon finding out the full story, I refunded him and blocked him? Or is that not, is that not going to be included? Come on, private investigator. You can do this. Matt immediately gives Hunter $200 that says reserve for live record BX Convo. So he gave him half upfront, which is a nice way of saying that Hunter offered his platform to a child groomer to allow him to defame and further harass his victims. Uh, in Did I know he was a child groomer? No. Is he a child groomer? No. Is he a creepy pedo type guy? Yes. Did I know that at the time? No. When I found out that he was, what did I do? I refunded him. Exchange for money. Now there's a word for that and it's called grifting. Also, I really think that this is the- Wait, what? <laughs> Is, that's grifting? Wow, guys. Hold up. The uh, the language understander, the English understander, BX Bullet, has logged on. Maybe she's also an English teacher. You see, guys, grifter is when somebody makes money from their platform. That's what that's what a grifter is. Every time you're paid by uh, by Raid Shadow Legends to to give your platform to to them so they can advertise their shit, you're just a fucking grifter. How dare you? How dare you sell your platform, grifter? This is what I mean, is that these people have no understanding of what the word grifter means. Grifter is somebody dishonestly or preaching shit they don't believe for money and money only. If I was a grifter, then why did I refund him the money and then block him upon finding out the depth of the allegations? Like, why did I do that then? I don't understand. If I was a grifter who was just going to sell my platform when that's not what was going to happen, I was going to fucking interrogate him. How, how does that mean you're a grifter? 
the most important message because it completely exposes Hunter as a liar. Um, so he claimed a couple nights ago the same thing he's been claiming all along. The Matt approached him and offered him money to come on his channel before knowing the allegations, which that turns out is a bold-faced lie since it was Hunter. Wait, how is it a bold-faced lie? Who actually approached him, and he did so after responding to me calling him out. Wait, I didn't approach him. He approached me first. We just saw the whole fucking list of DMs here, BX. You're not going to be able to keep lying about this. He's asking me how much it would cost to do an expose. He offered me $500 first. I'm asking him for evidence. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Holy shit, she is so desperate to be the victim. So desperate. About the allegations, specifically. Let's hear it again. Somebody reached out to me and wanted to come onto the stream. I didn't know the full details, and upon finding out the full details, I refunded them the money and told them to get the fuck out of here and then block them from all my platforms. Okay, so they continue talking to- Yes, that is exactly what happened. And I've now demonstrated it with the DM screenshots. <laughs> Dude, I really enjoy, uh, I, I enjoy showing you guys the screenshots and completely vindicating myself and then just watching these people seethe, cope, and cry. It's like, what, what are you proving right now? The next day on January 22nd in the morning, and they're conspiring to do a live stream about me here. Now, about this time at 9 a.m., I put out my video on YouTube laying out the evidence I have that Hunter is enabling a child groomer. Now, notice a big shift in Hunter's demeanor here. Knowing he's been compromised, he backs out on the deal and says, I think people are handling it wrong, but I can't help you. Knowing I've been compromised. Yep, that was what I was going to do, guys. BX Bullet, she just, she got to me. No, what happened was more and more shit was coming out. And then I realized he had uh, admitted to like having that picture and being really fucking creepy about it. So then I stopped talking to him and blocked him. This is what's funny too, is this is how you know that BX Bullet is a massive imbecile who's not interested in anything truthful is no matter what I do, she gets to claim victory. And that's how you know that she's being a huge piece of shit is first by me messaging the guy or responding to him after he messaged me. That's me conspiring. <gasps> and then me saying, hey, you're fucking creepy. Here's your refund. Get the fuck out of here. That's just me backing down because I was exposed by BX bullet. You see how no matter what, she's always able to claim victory because the way that she has set this whole narrative up is so that she is able to, no matter what happens, claim victory. It's dishonest. It's deceitful. And this is how you know this person is not acting in good faith. BX Bullet's really fun to observe because everything she claims other people or everything she accuses other people of doing, she actually does. She accuses me of being bad faith. The way that she's behaving right here is textbook bad faith. I sent you a refund. Thanks for your time. He says, okay, no worries. I'm sorry you're being attacked, but you'll get it today. <laughs> Hunter refunds the $200 given to him as a reserve for the live stream, but does not go so far as to return the initial $250. And in here, he goes into what he's thinking is... Wait. <gasps> so we're back to you unironically now trying to support pedophiles. That's what I'm hearing. You believe this guy is a child grooming pedophile and you want me to give him money. That's what I'm hearing right now. If you think this guy is creepy... And you think this guy is a fucking pedophile? Then why do you want me to send him more money back when the first thing he sent me, the 250 bucks, was a fucking donation for a video that had nothing to do with him? What? You you heard it, guys. BX Bullet unironically advocating to give more money to a uh, to an alleged pedophile. Absolutely disgusting. Make sure you guys circulate this clip far and wide, okay? Because BX Bullet is now saying that I should have given more money to a pedophile. That's what she's saying, actually. How disgusting, BX. Why do you want to financially support a pedophile? You are sick. You are disgusting. Control mode. He responds, she's so desperate. She made a 15-minute video claiming I'm siding with her harasser when all he did was lie. Wait, again, see how me now defending myself? That's proof that I was exposed, guys. That's proof that she's getting to me. Oh, <gasps> this is what I mean is that no matter what I do, no matter what I say, she will twist it to somehow support her dumb fuck agenda slash narrative. It's the cringiest shit. Like and retweet some of my criticisms of BX Backtrack. The whole video is her reaching so hard to try and smear me, but it looks desperate, spineless. Now remember it. True. Also, why are you getting so triggered about tweets? Thirdly, why don't you quit Twitch, please, for the love of Christ? At this point, um, I don't have any proof of the link between the two of them, but what Hunter sees as damage control, I see is a weaselly little liar getting suspiciously defensive. So I make a Twitter video prodding him for more. We know you see it that way. That's why you're a fucking moron. We already know this. And then she tries to say she made this video, which I didn't watch, by the way. 
or information at this point. And as a response, he says again that I'm moving the goalpost in an effort to smear him. I don't support any harassment directed your way, but you repeatedly are moving the goalpost to make an unfortunate situation your way to shit talk me. All because someone you don't like liked a few of my tweets. Again, pathetic, delete your account. And uh, that response was to her video that I didn't watch because I, I was having a bad day that day and I could not handle seeing uh, BX Backtrack's horrifying face over someone liking a few of his tweets. So he's just pretending that, he's, that him and this guy have no relationship whatsoever. He goes on to claim he recorded the video before the alleged stalker contacted him, which may be true, but he did request payment for the video upon its release. And no, I didn't. I did not request payment upon the video release. Even if I had, that is fucking irrelevant. This is not what happened. You are lying because you are a scum fuck. Guys, don't trust this person as a private investigator, okay? She doesn't know jack shit. I directly, when I sent him my, my uh, Venmo... He asked, you got Venmo, I see your video. And I said, which video? Sent him my Venmo and said, I made a video about BX Bullet, but it's not about your shit. I sent a tip. How did I request payment for this? He asked for my Venmo. He said it was a tip. This isn't me requesting payment. I made that video on you about you being insane. Prior. I've already shown the dates on that too. The VOD on Twitch was like days, if not weeks, before I actually dropped the video. Because you'll notice, the way that I do videos is, I usually have a couple different edited uh, stream segments, all uploaded on the channel, ready to go live whenever I click them to go live. As evidenced by him sending his Venmo code to Matt. He claims he tried to pay him for a platform and he told him no, another lie, since as we- Attached our screenshot showing I recorded the BX video before her alleged stalker ever even contacted me. Yup, there's a chat message from the day, which was January 7th. He reached out to me January 12th. That is conclusive proof. He did try to pay me for a platform, and I told him, no, there's no drama here. I did the right thing. BX is just mad and grasping at straws. Can she delete her account? True, please delete your account, you idiot. He saw he only backed out of the deal after I released a YouTube video exposing him. He claims he did the right thing, another lie. Claims I'm grasping at straws, a third lie, in a single tweet, and then- Wait, I did the right thing by giving him the refund and then blocking him. You know you can't just say things are a lie and then expect them to be accepted as lies, right? And he leaks only the first screenshot, deceptively trying to convince his audience that it was just a random guy and there was no collaboration between the two. So in this- well, No, I showed all the screenshots in my video. Yeah, I'm sorry that, you know, Twitter only lets you post a certain amount of, of photos. Next time I will archive every single screenshot to post it. This- <laughs> This is what I mean, and I remember when this drama was going down, people were like, You didn't show every single part of the DM! First of all, now I have. Second of all, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that there was like just one DM where I was like, actually ignore every single thing said prior and this is the real plan. Like, what do you think happened here? She is literally grasping at straws. Real time. This tweet, you acknowledge a conversation regarding monetary exchange for your platform, then stop short of leaking the DMs to prove it. I wonder why. What he was talking about was possibly coming on my stream to give his side of the story. And part of the reason why I was so hesitant to even have him on to begin with, as I already demonstrated with the DMs, was because I felt like there was a lot to this story and that it was easy for me to miss something January 19th. So you can see that the video- Yes, all true, as demonstrated by the screenshots, okay. It was posted on January 19th, and uh, he sent me a tip. Notice how he's saying that at the very beginning of their discussion, he's talking about the platform, but he wasn't. He was specifically asking about a video that he wanted to be made. At this point, Hunter is not showing all the screenshots. No, that's not even what- Okay, I don't even know if she's being dishonest or if she's actually just fucking dumb, probably both, but like, that is not true. We had agreed that he was going to be coming on the channel to talk, not that I was going to be making a video without him. He was going to come on the channel where I was going to essentially interrogate him, and he was going to pay me for it. I, okay, at this point, it's just me saying the same thing over and over and over again. Shots ...and is blatantly lying, um, at the very least being extremely disingenuous and lying uh, by omission. So it turns out that dumb little brain dead old me uh, right here... Lying by omission. Hmm. Good thing BX Bullet has never done that before. <laughs> See, every accusation she levies against someone else is something that she herself has done. It's the projection with these people that is so hilarious. Figured out exactly what had happened. I didn't even need to make accusations. You squealed on yourself. Guess I'm not as dumb as you thought. And then you blocked me on Twitter. Like, Wait, <laughs> what? How did I squeal on myself? I showed the... <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. I'm like, here's what I did, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, you just exposed yourself. Checkmate. How did I expose myself? I exposed that you were lying and the narrative that you were trying to build was completely factually wrong. Figured out exactly what had happened. I didn't even need to make accusations. You squealed on yourself. Guess I'm not as dumb as you thought. And then you blocked me on Twitter like pussy. Because at this point, you're like pissing your pants, I bet, right? So of course, my next move is to point out- Wait, I blocked you on Twitter way- 
way further, way, way back before that, right? Why are you lying right now? Holy shit. I blocked you before any of this even happened, you fucking moron. <laughs> okay, we'll go over this now. Here's where I'm asking her to come on the channel. November 4th, 2021. You don't owe me a debate, but I'd assume if you were confident in your claims about me, you'd be able to defend them within a debate. Either way, have fun being spineless. Blah, 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 you're so weird. Wah, boo -hoo. Um... Sounds like you have a lot to say. Sorry you'd rather hide behind the keyboard. Like I said, have fun being spineless. If you change your mind, the invite is open and we are already mutuals on Discord. I don't like you. And believe it or not, I have my own content that doesn't revolve around tearing others down. That aged like milk. It wasn't weirdo anything. I was covering your debate with destiny. Either way, blocked. So I blocked her on November 4th, 2021. And now she's claiming that I blocked him or her because of the video stuff? You were already blocked. How are you claiming to be a private investigator? You can't even get the most basic details down. You, I, not to mention, she blocked me. Are you lying by omission, BX? <gasps> now that he's withholding DMs by his own admission, to which he responds, this is what I mean right here. Withheld what info? Did someone DM me? LMAO, she's so arrogant. She literally thinks everything revolves around her. Woo, nice gaslighting attempt, Hunter. Um, yeah, that shit doesn't... That is not gaslighting. It's actually true. This is what I mean. Withheld what info? That someone DM'd me. She's so arrogant. She literally thinks everything revolves around her. She's also calling me a pedo. So fuck that spineless airhead. No wonder she's constantly crying. Okay, yeah. I, like, it, it, this video is literally just uh, uh, melted down into her reading my, like, claims against her or debunking the bullshit she says and then her crying about it and being like, that's not true. <laughs> LMAO, she's so arrogant. She literally thinks everything revolves around her. Woo, nice gaslighting attempt, Hunter. Um, yeah, that shit doesn't work on me. Well, this is where we finally get some poetic justice. Um, you see the child rumor that Hunter was, uh, conspiring with? The one he took money from, but then only returned a portion of it? Well, uh, that criminal fell- Are you lying by omission again? Why are you leaving out the fact that that was a random donation, and then I refunded him when it was in exchange for something like my platform that he was gonna come on and talk? You realize that one, like, these are two s totally different things, right? Like, you don't refund random donos. If somebody liked my video and wanted to send me a tip to my Venmo, I don't need to refund that. If I had promised somebody a service in return for a payment, and then they send a payment, and I don't come through with the service, then I need to refund them. How is this so hard for you to understand, Karen? Felt burned. And so he went live on Twitch and asserted he had paid Hunter for a video, and that Hunter hadn't refunded his money, and to prove it, he showed his phone with a Venmo transaction. <laughs> Now, at this point, Hunter went past the point of pissing himself and started just straight diarrheaing all over Twitter with lie after lie, just desperately trying to conceal the facts. So again, he lies. She's trying so hard to be like this provocative, edgy debate bro type. <laughs> it's just so cringy. We already saw this, you know. This is the tip. Yeah, I didn't refund that because I don't have to. Here you go. Sent me 250. I transferred the 250. He sent me 200. I transferred the 200. Then I refunded him the 200. Because again, one was for a service, the other was a random donation that he sent voluntarily. We should really, you know what we need to do is get somebody who's like a known bad person to send a uh, donation to BX Bullet. And then see how she reacts. And claims that Matt offered to pay him for his platform and he refused. Then he calls the $250 a donation sent willingly and he leaves two more select DMs. But I can see a lot of missing context still, especially when Matt disputes this on Hunter's very own. Really? Huh. Uh, guys, can anybody tell me why BX Bullet seems to be more charitable to a pedophile than me? That's weird. So now not only does she want the pedophile to get his money back, she also wants the pet she's also taking the pedophile's word. BX Bullet, you are a massive pedo sympathizer, so it seems. What a creep. You just take the pedo's word for it. You just really want the pedo to have money back. Jeez. I f I'm sorry, BX Bullet. Maybe you should tr stop siding with pedophiles just because you're super butthurt about my existence. Don't post. So Hunter went from claiming guilt by association nonsense to this guy just likes a few of my tweets um, to, okay, fine, he sent me a random DM to, okay, fine, he offered to pay me, but I refused to, okay, fine, he did pay me, but I sent it back. And now finally we're moving on to, okay, I only sent back half, but the other half was a tip. Holy goalpost moving. So well, yeah, probably does sound like goalpost moving when you summarize it in a completely dishonest way like that. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you want to believe that, but again, you're summarizing it that way intentionally. When in reality, everything I said on Twitter was consistent and has now been demonstrated via screenshots, receipts, and DMs. 
So then what I believe was the 23rd of January, I went on a panel of critically thinking veterans and I was discussing the situation and Hunter reacted to it by just denying and denying and denying, calling me a liar and a stupid bimbo and every other derogatory name he could think of and just trying to convince- Oh no, I hope she doesn't accuse me of molestation afterwards since apparently if you throw an insult, that means you can accuse somebody of a crime and make defamatory statements about them. His audience that I was making everything up um, and he's still refusing to own up to anything. Here is him desperately trying to convince people he's not a grifter while continuing to lie about his actions. There's absolutely no evidence that I was paid to make this video. And now you're claiming I was paid by a guy to upload defamatory video about the ex. And I'm now trying to cover it up. Okay, yeah. Instead of apologizing, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I should have just apologized for something I didn't do. See ya. Banned for being a simp. He also claims that he blocked. Yeah, wait, what? This is true. You said that I was paid to make the video about you where I said that you're fucking crazy. And I'm showing my Twitch VODs here to show that I made that video prior to him even reaching out to me. How are you? <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. And what, what's even funnier, too, is that she's not actually refuting anything. She's just, like, expecting her audience to take her word for it. She's like, and then he lies, see? And then shows, so, like, a clip of me not lying. And then just rolls with it. Simp. He also claims that he blocked him immediately on Twitter right before he refunded the money. So this guy got mad at me because after I saw the Yikesy clip, I blocked him on Twitter. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm blocking you on Twitter. You're kind of creepy. And then he was like, well, can you... Are you sure that's what happened? Yes, I said people are handling it wrong. I sent him the refund and then I blocked him on Twitter. What? Yes, that's what happened. Why Why are you putting this up here? <laughs> Dude, I actually feel bad that she spent time making this video. She like edited this one and like put little text and thought she got like this big own on me where all she did is prove that I did nothing wrong and that she's just like a resentful, angry loser. Can you send me the 250 back? And I was like, no, that was a tip. I was like a donation. I'm not sending back a donation, but I'll refund you the money that you gave me that was when you wanted to come on my stream. Also easily proven as a lie, as you can see here, Matt responded to him a few days after the refund. Jeez, how many lies are we even up to now? So you're back to taking the pedophile's word over mine. Okay, cool. Uh, apparently it's me who's the pedo sympathizer, yet BX Bullet wants this pedophile to get rich and wants, uh, and believes his word over mine. Very interesting. Dude, do the right thing and send the money back. I sent you 250 because you made the video on BX, and that's when we discussed more. Let's just be honest. I don't pay for nothing. Uh, again, a lie. I s deliberately said this is not about anything to do with you, and he said, I don't care. Here's a, here's a tip. Uh, okay. Matt responded to him a few days after the refund. Jeez, how many lies are we even up to now? At least 12. I should have been counting. It gets worse. So also I love how she just, like, considers things lies for her little lie counter. It's very cute. It's really defensive when chat asks him to leak all the DMs. Can't you show all your Twitter DMs to clear up? Why do I need to leak all of my DMs of me talking to the dude? Like, there's there's no reason to do that. I showed the relevant parts and the parts that vindicate me. This is shady. No, you, what's shady is the fact that you're simping for BX Bullet and you're clearly butthurt as fuck. I mean, if he hasn't done anything wrong, why wouldn't he leak all the DMs? So then eventually he agrees. Uh, I did leak all the DMs. Again, like, this is what I mean is what do you think is hiding in there? Do you think there's like the one DM that I'm not showing where I said everything else is not true? Now this is the real DM, okay? And we're gonna do this thing. Even though I still sent him a refund, like, what do you think happened? He used to do it, and by doing so, he screen shares his entire Twitter screen, and like I said, he just rolled through the messages really quickly, and I was able to put together a pretty complete timeline of everything that had happened. And then later that night, I constructed- Good the thing you don't need to do that, because I just showed more of the DMs. In fact, I went through virtually all of them right here on the stream. Because there's nothing to hide. But it's like, if I'm trying to vindicate myself, I'm going to show certain DMs, that contradict the claims being made against me, obviously. Full timeline of events, complete with timestamps, uh, which I presented to you today, disproving almost every claim Hunter made about this, like, just truly horrific situation. So the next day I went live and I showed the screenshots to everyone on Twitch. And Hunter was watching my stream live and was just continuing to lie about me, demean me. Um, he was trying to allege that I'm lying about being a private investigator and just discredit me. Uh, oh no, I was demeaning her, guys. Oh, boo-hoo. Somebody insulted you and demeaned you? <gasps> That's definitely worse than trying to defame somebody and lie about their involvement in a literal crime like trying to get child porn. Wow. You're so big brain. He called me a bunch of mean names to try to take attention off of what he knows he's done. But his demeanor actually changes as I go down the DMs what and he I've begins done. to realize his arguments are falling apart. So here he is reacting live to me exposing him. No Wait, <laughs> I'm excited for this one, dude. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see. My demeanor is changing. Oh no, BX Bullet, the expose, it's too much to bear. This is how he rewords what happens. He continued to talk to this man and offered him $400. See what I said? She's just mad that I gave someone she doesn't like the benefit of the doubt briefly before refusing to work with them. Because I was willing to hear out the whole story and not just listen to her word as gospel. She's an abuser, dude. It, there was never a claim that I never spoke to this dude. The claim was that I was paid to make that video and I wasn't. I had no idea about the naked clip or whatever. And again, when I did find out, I stopped working with him. Wait, Sighting hold on. Her. Am I making a mistake here? Carissa's saying that I said that I worked with him. I'm sorry. No. When your wife has to help keep your story straight, XD.
Uh, no, it's the usage of the word worked with him sounds a lot more involved than what happened, which was like he wanted to just come on the channel. Is this how? OK, listen, I understand when you have absolutely no no roasts. Um, you you kind of have to reach for anything you can. But uh, OK. Also, again, see how see how now I'm trying to make sure that my my uh, terminology and what I'm saying is correct and accurate. And now I'm at fault for that. Hunter, she called me a groomer for saying she blatantly lied. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Because she has no arguments with him. And I did find out I stopped working with him. So, for example, after I showed that he responded to my tweet Wait, and say that he never worked with him. Hold on, am I making a mistake here? Carissa's saying that I said that I worked with him. I'm sorry. No. When did I say that I worked with a guy? Because I never worked with him. And I did find Wait, yes. I never worked with him. By literal definitional standards, I didn't. He wanted to come on the channel, so I- And then I said no. That's called not working with him. You fucking moron. Also, Carissa wasn't correcting my terminology. She was correcting me because I may have misspoken, said I worked with the guy. Uh, okay. Find out I stopped working with him. So, for example, after I showed that he responded to my tweet and say that he knew about the allegations before offering the groomer a platform, he doubles, triples, quadruples down on the claim that he didn't know the allegations, which I just proved was a lie. He really must think his audience is dumb. So notice how he moves the goalpost. Wait. The DMs show that I didn't know the full story, so I don't understand where I'm... Like... Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to, uh, like, debate people when they're just making assertions. It's very funny. Post here again by referring to this yikesy clip instead of addressing the tweet he made to me, acknowledging the incident involving my daughter. Like, listen, it shouldn't matter that he didn't see this one specific clip. Uh, he knew the allegations about this guy before he offered him his platform in exchange for money. No, I didn't. I certainly didn't know the, uh, the depth of them. My understanding was that he was falsely accused of being a pedo and got a bunch of harassment and he wanted to talk about it. That's what I was told, as demonstrated in the DMs. Like, she, again, she's just asserting things. <laughs> he knew, guys. I, I know he did. I'm, I'm able to, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Maybe on top of being a private investigator, a quote unquote model, um, a, a medicine expert, maybe she's also a mind reader. Is that it too? Wow. Okay. Now, check out this remarkable cope. I was under the impression that he was being falsely accused of things, that there had been police reports that were wrongly filed against him. I didn't know the whole story. So I was like, okay, well, maybe there's something here that we can talk about. You can come on and uh, explain your side of things. You know, maybe, maybe that's what we can do. Poor guy. He got fooled by this tremendous criminal mastermind. No, that's not what happened. Hunter I didn't say I got fooled by any criminal mastermind. I said that I was under the impression that he was victimized by your behavior when that wasn't actually the case. Notice also how I'm still saying the exact same thing. Like, my story has stayed completely consistent, but... BX Bullet has to make like a giant 30 minute video showing screenshots and twisting everything to somehow back up her insane lies. <laughs> Hunter hates me. He hates me so much that he would take money from a guy accused of these horrible things and he either A, does no further research to see, for example, the dozens and dozens of people who can corroborate the story as being true, along with- all Wait, I did research. I directly asked him as well. Is that not doing some level of research? By asking the guy? Also, no, I wasn't willing to take money from him. I refunded him. What? How are you just saying things, dude? I know for a fact that she sits in her bed all day long saying, my dad loves me, my dad loves me over and over again because she somehow believes that makes it true. All the proof of it that I've been sharing nonstop on Twitter. Or B, he knew about all of it and just wanted the money and a chance to defame me so much that he didn't care. I'll let you guess which one I think is more likely. So unfortunately for Hunter, this- Of course that's what you think. Because you're an idiot. And you have to make yourself into being the victim every single fucking time. <laughs> um, wait, what else did she say? Proof of it that I've been sharing nonstop on Twitter. Or B, he knew about all of it and- She claimed that you didn't refund the tip? Because I didn't refund the tip. I don't need to. Why the hell should I refund a random donation sent to me that was voluntarily sent to me that had nothing to do with any kind of agreement or service in exchange? If somebody sends me a Venmo thing because they liked my video, I do not give a fuck. And again- if you want me to refund the money, then you're saying that you want the pedophile to have more money. Just wanted the money and a chance to defame me so much that he didn't care. I'll let you guess which one I think is- And you wanted to defame me so badly that you now are trying to argue that the pedophile should get more money and that the pedophile is telling the truth. More likely. So unfortunately for Hunter, this narrative that he has tried so desperately to get people to believe that I'm this unhinged, brain-dead, uh, spineless liar. Well, <laughs> No. Oh, honey, you don't need me to, to get people to believe that, okay? We just watched your video. We can all see it with our own two eyes, okay? We're all going anecdote Andy here. Yes, we just watched you being an unhinged brain-dead loser. Congratulations.
I bet she's lurking right now. She probably is, and she's definitely coping if she is. Well, it just doesn't hold up when you look at the facts. And Hunter is continuing to defame me to this very day by telling everybody that I'm lying about the situation and making it all up and that I'm crazy. I honestly can't tell if he's- That's not what I said. I didn't say you made up the entire situation and that you're crazy. That's not what I said. What I said on that panel is exactly the truth. That somebody wanted to come on my channel. They sent me some money because they wanted to come on the channel. Upon finding out the depth of the allegations, I fucking refunded him and blocked him and haven't spoken to him since. That's what I said. That is what's true. That is what's demonstrable, according to the DM screenshots. And you're still crying about it. I literally, I, like, I don't understand what, what's your problem at this point. So morally vacuous that he sincerely can't clearly see that he's in the wrong here or if he's just lying. And uh, to be honest, I don't know which is worse. So I'd like to encourage the community uh, once more to hold creators accountable, stop letting them harm and unlawfully defame others and to take a firm- Wait, you're talking about other people unlawfully defaming people? I was unlawfully defamed, you fucking moron. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. Every time she makes an accusation and then it's actually her who is living out that allegation. You literally agreed with her that he was a creep? I know I did. That's the thing is we actually agree that this dude's a fucking creep. And that's why I wanted nothing to do with him. But somehow I'm still in the wrong. Next time, I shouldn't even DM people. Next time, I won't even respond to a DM unless I'm able to look them up on the police records. Hard stance against child predators, sexual exploitation, and the like that occurs on this platform. And for the love of God, hold creators accountable when they fail to properly vet sources um, in cash for content deals, especially when such irresponsible platforming could result in significant targeted harm to another creator. Whether you like me- Uh, I, I agree with that message. Good thing I did my research and didn't have him on my platform and refunded him. Like- <laughs> I literally did what you're saying should have been done, and you're still bitching out about it. Me or not, this shouldn't matter. Um, there's a lot of people out there who don't really know me, who just don't like me because of things that their favorite, you know, hater of mine has said. Um, and like a lot of you have never even visited one of my streams or know anything about who I am. I've oh, actually no. devoted a large portion of my time as a content creator, uh, helping people and trying to keep them safe oh. from criminals online. Uh, I've, I've helped a lot of people here, a oh, lot, no. and I pay dearly for it. She's uh, such a noble person. So many people just hate her because they just don't understand her. Oh no! Cry bully alert. Um, in my personal life. So it shouldn't matter whether you like someone's politics or not. That shouldn't change how you feel about and react to um, creators trying to harm other creators, especially when families are involved. Hunter, I know Totally you agree. 100%. No matter how much you hate me, I think we can all acknowledge that what Rob Nor said about me was defamatory based on a legal definition. abso fucking lootly Yeah. I never tried to get child porn. And fuck you for suggesting otherwise. You held a groomer who openly admitted to taking naked images of my three-year-old daughter and saving them onto his computer and using them to blackmail me by conspiring- How did I help him again? By blocking him and refunding him? Wait, what did I do to, uh, to, to help him? How did I help him again? ...with him to defame me for money. You are not only a defender of these disgusting people, you're an enabler. And in my eyes, you're no- How did I enable him if I told him not to come on the channel, blocked him, and refunded him? <laughs> Where was the enabling happening? <laughs> this is like a guy who has a really good friend, okay? And a really good friend is an alcoholic. And then the guy purchases some alcohol and is going to give it to his alcoholic friend. And then he says, you know what? Wait a minute. I didn't realize you were a fucking alcoholic. Holy shit. I, I don't really want to, I, I don't want to tempt you, dude. That, that would be morally wrong. I'm going to go return this alcohol and I'm not giving you any alcohol. And then people like BX bitch face here would jump up on stream and say, oh my God, Hunter enabled alcoholism. No better than they are. You'd sell your literal soul for the right price. You are, by definition, a Then rifter. why didn't- then why didn't I take the money? <laughs> and to make things even worse, you're a married man with two young children of your own. Like, how do you sleep at night knowing that you took this money from a man who took naked pictures of another person's Wait, child? Wait, And now money? you're going on to- What money did I take? You mean the donation? Okay, yeah, that's right. So next time I'll have to do a, uh, thorough police investigation on anybody that sends me a dono. You are so dumb. Large panels and making this your official story? Somebody reached out to me and wanted to come onto the stream. I didn't know the full details, and upon finding out the full details, I refunded them the money and told them to get the fuck out of here and then block them from all my platforms. I can't wait. That is literally what happened. Cope. See how you're going to defend this blatant lie you told? And hey, um, I'd like to invite you to redirect your misplaced hostility and threats of legal actions against Rob Noor, because I would welcome the chance to see you at court over this and counter sue you for taking money from a criminal stalker to defame me online and dragging me through a new iteration of what was already a hellish ordeal for me and my family. And stop that Wait, how did I. Where did I take the money? Are you back to just crying because he sent me a voluntary donation, which, again, I had no idea who he was at the time? Like, even if I did know who he was, why the fuck should I return money to a pedo?
Also, that's not something you can sue people over. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's a lawyer also, guys. The videos you made defending yourself were entirely defamatory in nature. And you included known malicious lies meant to discredit me and open me up to unwelcome hate and trolling on all my channels. So what I said was defamatory, but what Rob Nor said wasn't? How do you even keep anything straight, dude? <laughs> And to this day, you continue to defame me every single time you go live and call me a liar. See, I'm like, you actually have a great case for defamation. I mean, I can show that you were malicious in your actions towards me. Uh, you can keep lying and saying you didn't know about the controversy all you want, but will the court actually buy that? I mean, this guy was sending you Google Drives full of evidence. I even tweeted at you, letting you know what this person was accused of. And then you offered him your platform for money. Wait, you know for it to be defamatory, you would have to show that the person was, uh, was actually lying. So I could easily counter sue your bullshit because if you accuse me of lying, I would be able to show, no, I wasn't lying at all. Here's all the evidence showing that BX Bullet is actually lying about me, completely contradicting everything she said here. Hours later, I can also prove harm, and uh, I can prove that my claims against you are true. So if you'd still like to sue me, I will be patiently waiting on the papers. But um, might I make a suggestion? You made the mistake of underestimating me once already. Don't make the same mistake again. <laughs> Don't make the no worries, same mistake again. Ooh, BX Bullet. Ooh, she's coming for you. <laughs> and see again proving that she thinks the whole fucking world revolves around her i said nothing about suing you bx bullet why why do you why are you taking this personally are you okay this had nothing to do with you i was accused of trying to get child porn that was a lie that was defamatory it was malicious in nature and it was an accusation of an actual crime that is what I was responding to, saying, meets the legal definition of defamation. This had nothing to do with her. But again, she has to stick her little fucking nose into every everything she can because she wants to stay relevant as much as possible. And then you literally sided with her at the end of it. That's that he's creepy. Yeah, I think that he was creepy as fuck. That's why I stopped taking any, like, that's why I didn't want to have him on the channel. I never <laughs> said I'd sue you. I was saying the claim that I tried to get CP was defamatory. It is by definition. Thankfully, I, thankfully you can't sue over being cringe or I'd see you in court. P.S. Delete your entire social media presence and make the world a better place. Hey, BX, uh, he's a liar. I proved it. Go watch the video and stop being tools. We just watched your video. And once again, you proved that you're a brainless loser. Here, you want to join my Discord server? Go for it. Also, why are you cheapening the words like groomer and pedophile and whatnot? You realize that people who disagree with your dumb fuck video aren't groomers, right? BX doesn't understand how defamation works. Yeah, I know she doesn't because she's a moron. He's lying through his teeth. Really? Then how can we saw DMs literally disproving what you said? <laughs> you know, there's such a thing as screenshots, right? <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.